Good morning. You ready for school? All right. Here you go. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. That's bigger than you are. Do you need some help? It's just been amazing. The community is so supportive. Can I take you back? Oh, that was nice. The greeting in the morning, I think, is an extension of I care that you're here today. Do you need a hand with some of your stuff? Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Did you say thanks for the ride? They love it. They're excited to go in the morning. Is it pretty sweet? Ooh, that's nice. It is a very magical place. And you get here and you look around and you realize this is a this is an important place and it really feels special. I think it's amazing. First and foremost when you walk in, just the view, it's kind of crazy. You know, everything that is good about San Francisco, I feel, comes together. They love the school. Really happy. Yeah. They happy children come to the school. <laughs> Very they realize nice. they're pretty lucky. Yeah. It's, it's hard not to. No other school in San Francisco has this kind of this co-educational model where you a single sex. Give yourself a round of applause. You know, where our classrooms are designed to meet the needs of boys on one end and then girls on next door, but at the same time. We, we live side by side and are able to share resources so that there's a lot of interaction between the two different groups all day long. We use what we know about girls to get the best out of girls. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, lights are turning on. So what we try to do is put in those pivotal roles, math, science teachers, things like that, really putting them with teachers who are going to model for them that it's okay to be the top of the class. It's okay to stretch. A confident girl is confident. She's articulate. Confident. She has a, a deep grounding in something larger than herself. Take a partner, go. She's obviously academically well prepared. She knows how to learn, she knows how to think. She knows she's loved. Good hops, that's a support. What I would like for our boys when they graduate, yes. and then start here. they're both a gentleman and have kind of really traditional values. But at the same time, they're finding that right tension between these traditional values, but very progressive and being part of this world and being a leader. And I think that the boys that graduate here still are grounded in being a really good person and, and really serving not just themselves, but really thinking about serving others. But I was having fun. I was enjoying it. We're also engaging them in forming questions, in exploring topics that might not have an answer, but we want to see how they can explore a topic. We want to see how they can engage in this new global environment. What will their access to a second language be? Are they culturally competent? If they're going to move across the world and live somewhere else, will they be able to do that with comfort and grace? I just think we're going in the right direction to educate these children in a very quickly changing world. We're keeping the old values in a new setting. You know, and that's that part of traditional that is important. We don't want to lose our traditions. They're, they're our core, right? But how might they also transform? So it's the power. It's very powerful. And uh, we've been so happy here. Our son's been so happy here. Really a wonderful place, wonderful community, a wonderful Questions. program.